Hello everyone and welcome to another video of the Scratch programming series. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add the scoring and the difficulty levels to your Scratch game. I already have a Scratch game designed. Let's see what this game is. So I click on the start button. In this game, I have this rocket ship at the bottom of the state, which I can control by using the left and the right arrow keys. We cannot move the rocket ship up or down. It always stays at the bottom of the stage. You can shoot the bullets by pressing the space bar. And whenever the bullet is touching the ladybug sprite, you can see a change in the costume, which shows that the ladybug sprite has been killed successfully. That's the game we have with us right now. And you can see that there is no scoring. There are no difficulty levels to this game. So that's what we are going to do in this tutorial. And whenever the ladybug sprite touches the rocket ship, the game will be over immediately. That's what the game we are having right now. Let's start adding scoring and difficulty levels to the game. But now before we do that, uh, maybe you do not have this game ready on your computer. So I would like to show you what all coding blocks I have used, what are the sprites that I have used in this program. So I have three sprites here. The, these three sprites are the rocket ship, the button two and the ladybug sprite. I also have backdrops, so I added a nebula backdrop and I have downloaded these two backdrops from the internet. You can use any type of game over backdrop that you would like to use. Uh, for the ladybug sprite, I did a small change uh, in the costumes tab. So you click on the ladybug sprite and then you go to the costumes tab. And I have rotated this ladybug sprite around uh, 45 degrees in the anti-clockwise direction okay and I did that to counteract for the for the wrong angle which I was getting while playing the game okay if you make the game you will notice that the ladybug sprite is pointing in the wrong direction so that's how you fix it okay let's get to the code of this program so first thing I'm going to show you is the code blocks for the rocket ship sprite blocks for the button 2 sprite blocks for the ladybug sprite Okay, everyone, I hope that you have the game ready in your computer and now you can follow this tutorial with me to add the scoring and the difficulty levels. If I want to use the scoring, the first thing I need is uh, something which can keep track of the numbers because when we do the scoring, we need to increase and decrease the number values and to do this, we use something called as a variable. So you click on the variables category, which is over here, and then click on the button, make a variable this blue color backdrop window will appear and now I will name this variable as a score and it is better to choose for all sprites so that you can access this variable from anywhere in the program. Click on the OK button. Once you have created the variable, it will be visible here. You can see score and the value will be displayed on the stage as well. But if you do not want the value to be displayed on the stage, you can remove this checkbox mark from here and then the variable will disappear from the stage. So, but I want to show it on the screen. So I'll just keep it visible. Whenever we start playing the game, the value of a score should start with zero because we have not uh, killed any ladybug sprite. To do that, use that variable, uh, the block set score to zero. By clicking on this arrow, you will be able to access all the variables that you have created in the program. So to begin with, I have the score set to zero. And my strategy is that whenever the player is able to shoot the ladybug sprite successfully, I want to uh, give one point to the player. So I'll click on the ladybug sprite and we'll find out the block where we are shooting the ladybug. And this is where it is happening. You can see switch costume the killed ladybug and then wait for 0.4 seconds and delete this clone. So this is where I'm going to award one point and to do that we'll just add the block change scope by one now let's play the game and see what happens so whenever i am successfully shooting down the ladybug you can see that the score is increasing okay so our scoring is working properly uh, let's stop shooting the ladybug sprites and then see what happens so now you can see that there is no problem with me if I'm not shooting the ladybug sprites. My score is still 11 points. Okay, so this type of game is not very exciting as it is not challenging the player. So let's add some challenge to our game. And uh, my strategy is that if I'm successfully shooting the ladybug sprite, I will give one point to the player. But if we are not able to shoot the ladybug sprite, then I will reduce some score. So for that, I want to 
Uh, this is the point where the ladybug sprite is reaching the bottom of the stage. This delete this clone. So just before deleting the clone, I will change the value of a score by minus two, which means that if you kill the ladybug sprite successfully, you get one point. But if you are not able to kill the ladybug sprite, you lose two points. Okay. Now let's see how this game is working. So I'm getting one point for killing the ladybug sprite. But if I'm not shooting the ladybug sprite, then see what happens. Now you can see that the, re the score is reducing. It's going in the negative. So this is another glitch in the program now. Of course, we do not want a negative score in the program. And this game is also never going to end. So again, the game is not challenging, although we are doing the scoring, but it's not challenging the player. It's not engaging. So what I need is I need some strategy where uh, there is a challenge to the player. So let me add a condition uh, where I can end this game. Okay, so, so my thinking is that if the score is zero, then I'm going to end this game. So let's add that capability into the rocket ship sprite here. And what I'm going to do is I will separate the, uh, the initialization blocks. Initialization means the blocks which are executed in the beginning into a separate block. Uh, it helps me keep my program, you know, uh, divided into smaller parts. So I'll go to the event category, bring one van flag clicked, and we will take all these initialization blocks here because these are the things I need to do in the starting of the program. Okay, so I have set size, set score, show, rotation, left, right, everything here. Now this is where I'm going to add the condition to finish the game because this block is executing throughout the game execution. So I'll go to the control category, bring one if block here, and I need to compare my score with zero. So I'll say that if the value of a score is less than one, which means that if the value of the score is zero, in that case, I want to display the backdrop, which is game over. And after that, I want to stop everything. So I use stop all. And also I need to hide the rocket ship sprite because it will be visible on the screen. And then I will hide the rocket ship sprite. Now let's see how this game is working. And it says game over as soon as I click on the flag button. So why this is happening? Because in the beginning of the program, the value of the score is zero. And my condition says that if the value of the score is less than one, then the game should end. So what's happening here is, that as soon as I start the game, it finishes. So I need to make a small change here. Let's give the score five in the beginning of the program. So what this thing will do, it will give a five point score to the player in the beginning of the game. Let's click on the flag button and now you can see the game is working properly. So if I stop shooting the ladybug sprites, I'm getting a negative score. My score is reducing and as soon as it reaches below zero, the game is over. Now this is the kind of game which is challenging the player. In this part of the video now I will show you how you can add the difficulty levels to the scratch game that we have just designed. So to add the difficulty level, first of all we need to think of some strategy that how you can make the game difficult for the player. If I reduce the speed of the rocket ship, with which it is moving towards the left and right hand side of the stage, then it would be difficult for the player to shoot down all the ladybug sprites and thus making the game difficult to play. So that's what my strategy is, but you can decide your own strategy to make this game difficult. So let's implement the difficulty levels in this scratch program. The first thing I need to modify here is the speed with which the rocket ship sprite is moving right now. If you look at my coding blocks, the rocket ship speed is moving with a constant speed of five steps. And this is something we need to change because this is a constant five value and it is never going to change. As I told you earlier, if you want to play with the numbers that we can change during the program execution, we need something called as variables. So let's create a new variable and I will name this variable as rocket ship speed. And again, it is better to choose for all sprites. So we have another variable in our program, rocket ship speed. Just like all other variables, we have to start the rocket ship speed with some initial value. 
in the beginning i am setting the rocket ship speed to 5 now this is where i am moving my rocket ship speed by 5 steps and this is the value that i want to replace with my variable so it says move 5 steps i'll bring the rocket ship speed variable here but if you see this value this is a negative value and the speed of the rocket ship is 5 which is a positive value so what we need to do here is we need to change this positive value of the rocket ship speed into negative and we can do that by the help of the multiplication operator so i will add this multiplication operator here bring the rocket ship ship speed variable and multiply this value with minus 1 what this block is going to do it will change the uh, positive rocket ship speed which is 5 right now into minus 5 so in this manner we have both the 5 and the minus 5 in the rocket ship speed let's try our game if we have done everything properly is it working okay so the game is working fine adding the new blocks is not creating any problems at all i do not want to see the rocket ship speed on the screen so i will remove the checkbox from here we have the variable value of the rocket ship speed now we need to find a condition where i can slow down the rocket ship speed so i have this strategy in my mind where after 20 ladybug clones have been created then i will increase the difficulty level of this game let's do that click on the ladybug to sprite we need to count the number of clones that have been already created so we again need a variable so let's name this variable as clone count or much better ladybug count click on the ok button set the starting value of the ladybug count to zero because in the beginning of the program we have no clones created and every time a new clone of the ladybug sprite is created we will change this value we will increase this value by one bring this block here change ladybug count by one now what will happen as soon as a new create uh, a, a new clone is created the value of the ladybug count variable is going to increase by one now we can use this variable to change the difficulty level and i prefer to do this on the rocket ship speed inside this forever block here we already have a forever in which we are moving the rocket ship we need to add one more if block here operators category we will bring one equal to and i will check that if the value of the ladybug count is equal to 20 which means that the 20 clones have been created at this point i'm going to slow down the speed of the rocket ship so let's bring this change block here and select the rocket ship speed by minus let's say 0.5 okay so i want to just reduce the rocket ship speed by minus 0.5 steps and a very important thing we need to do is that we have to set the value of the ladybug count back to zero so that it can start counting for the next 20 ladybug clones created if we do not increase set this value back to zero then it will not increase the difficulty level again so this is very important and i also do not want the ladybug count variable to appear on the screen so i'll remove this check mark we have the value of the score now when the player is playing this game the speed of the rocket ship will decrease slowly after every 20 uh, ladybug clones have been created but there is no indication to the player that on what level he is playing right now correct so this is something we need to add we need to add the level number also in our program to do that create a new variable i will name this variable as level set the starting value of level to one so i'll say set level to one whenever we are increasing the difficulty level that's where i will change the value of the level from level from one to two so we'll use another block here change level by one and now you can see the level is displayed on the screen i'll change the location of the level number 
So in the beginning, you can see I am at level number one. Once 20 bug, ladybug clones have been created, automatically the speed of the rocket ship will decrease by minus 0.5 and I will be playing at level number 2. So you can see level has changed to 2. So in this manner, after every 20 ladybug clones created in our program, the speed of the rocket ship will decrease and it will make uh, the game difficult to play. So that's how you can add the difficulty levels to your scratch game.